As divisions within COPE continue, party leader Musiwa Lokota is uh, briefing the media on the latest developments that's taking their life. We needed to satisfy ourselves that uh, we would act correctly. I, I am acting here as the president of the Congress of the People, elected at the last Congress of the party. I understood as early as then that uh, in keeping with the provisions of our Constitution, my term of office as President of the Congress of the People would end at the end of this term of office because our constitution provides that an individual may occupy uh, the term of office or rather uh, the position, the presidency, if they have served two terms. And this uh, be, being the position that would be the the end of my second term of office, unless the party decides otherwise. During uh, my term of office, we had some uh, setbacks because, first of all, our deputy GS, uh, Comrade uh, Hutchinson, resigned. We didn't have an opportunity to replace him. Sometime after that, our General Secretary, Comrade Papi Hanar, was uh, caught up by this uh, uh, illness that took so many people, COVID-19, COVID eh? and we lost him. Up until now, we have not been able to replace him. So it's been a long time, I must say. Um, but as every one of us is aware, the, the country was subjected to all kinds of abnormal circumstances, but we remained obliged to find an opportunity to replace the Secretariat, which has not been done up until now. Well, added to that, I myself fell ill uh, along the way. And uh, maybe I, I must uh, take you into confidence and share with you that I had uh, an attack uh, of uh, prostate cancer. Now, That uh, took some time also. If I look a little bit uh, on the smaller size than what you are used to, it's simply because uh, in the course of trying to recover from the operations of this and so on, I lost quite a bit of weight, but also because I am very physically active. You must not think that I have just lost weight because I was ill. <laughs> I am a regular cyclist. Uh, uh, on the whole, I, I cycle something like 15 kilometers uh, every day. And even now, I still do that uh, all the time. Um, so that is the only reason, really. But otherwise, I'm not what you call frail. Yeah. 
I can walk distances, I can run distances, I cycle distances. <clears throat> so I recovered, uh, although I lost some, some of this weight that I'm, I'm talking about. I kept myself informed, of course, of the developments in the party as, it, uh, as we went about. And I was uh, satisfied that uh, the deputy president uh, was uh, doing whatever I needed to do because now and then he would uh, give me feedback about how things are going on and so on. And I was quite uh, uh, satisfied. I have to say that uh, when I now uh, came back into the full swing and activity of the work of the party, <clears throat> I discovered that there had been other developments that I was not kept abreast of, and certainly which did not have uh, authorization by the Congress National Committee. <coughs> Critically so was uh, when my attention was drawn to the fact that uh, the deputy president had signed an affidavit uh, which he alleged that had been authorized by the Congress National Committee. And uh, when I took a look at this, I realized that no, this was absolutely not correct. But uh, by this time, the matter was already receiving the attention of the courts, uh, including his signed uh, he signed affidavit. And the matter was about to go to the court. All right, we're not yet able to tell you what happened there. We're hoping our journalist on the story will fill us in in a bit. But uh, that uh, briefing by COP uh, President, Congress of the People President Musiwa Lekota, interrupted abruptly uh, just as he was trying to uh, starting uh, to get into his his briefing. Somebody came into the room. Um, rushed to the corner of the room and microphones were taken away um, but we don't have proper detail as I said I hope our journalist covering the story will bring us more detail in a bit uh, that as divisions within COPE continue and uh, party leader Musiwa Lukota was about to brief uh, the media on the latest developments that preceded his suspension that was announced some time during the week by the deputy president of COPE, uh, Willy Madisha. Uh, and now it was expected that there was going to be a counter uh, suspension. But let's take you back there live. You will know me. Okay, first, why, why are you, if you are home, why are you blocking members of the members outside? outside? Why? Why? If you are home. Okay. Why? 
The group are here. The group members are here. members are here. Why are you blocking them? Who are you? My man. The group members are here. Yes, we are here. Who are you, please? You should have allowed them to come here so that they know what is happening with their organization. Who are you representing there? We need people to come in here. You finish what? You finish what? No, you're not going to finish. You don't address them. You take them in. Take them address them in here. Take them inside. How are you? Are you here? Yes. Yes. If you can just let us know what's happening here. Yeah, we are here. We say that uh, these government. factionalists that have been called here are not the real members of the Congress of the People. These are the mafias. These are the people that are destroying the Congress of the People. It's the president who's going around and making parallel structures. We are saying to him, he has got no right to come here and address uh, these people in the name of the Congress of the People. He has been suspended so that now he must adhere to the Constitution, he must adhere to the code of the conduct of the Congress of the People. So that's why we are here to say that they don't have a right to be here, they must get out here, they are not a constituted people of the members of the Congress of the People. That's what we are saying. Were you invited as members of COPE? Uh, we, are, we, are not, we cannot be invited as members of the Congress of the People. They invited their side. Their friends. Their friends. That's why you are here and say that. That is not going to happen how at can, the name how can of the Congress the of the People. If they are doing it on behalf of COPE, without the, the members movement, of the Congress of the People, the gate. I am the, pres I'm, I am the leader of, Cong of youth movement. Why am I not in there? Why is Mr. This Tom is Tom is attacking me? This is he is, he is the, 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 the member I of am, Kauten Committee. Why I is he not there? I am a provincial secretary of this province. We are not going people to drag them the name of the Congress of the People here. Yeah. They must go out. They must be adhered. They must concentrate to the suspension that you have given to them. They are suspended. Comrade Terra Likota is suspended. So you Com say you don't re recognize their leadership? We don't. We don't recognize them. They are not the leadership. Suspended. The real CNC of the Congress of the People stayed on Sunday. They are not the real members of the Congress of the People. They are suspended. They have got letters on their names. They have got letters on their backs. So that's why we are saying that they don't have a right to come here and address in the name of the Congress of the People. And so, if why they you, are, so, so why are you using Violence. Can't you guys we are not using violence. And speak? We are it, not it, using it's violence. Not violence. If I can make it very clear, we we say to them, they must come to us, so that we can come and sort this thing outside. But they ran and come here and call you as the media. We, as the members of the Congress of the People, we are outside the gates. We are chased away. If it is a real press conference of the Congress of the People, why are we chased away not to come and listen to him? But you were attacking them inside. We were not. We are not attacking. We will just want to address them to say that, but we are not the real people who should be here and address the Congress of the people because you are suspended, you know that. You should have been at home, President Likota. Are you not concerned that you guys continue to destroy this party, which has continued to be on a downward spiral uh, mm -hmm. since 2009? Look, really, we are not concerned. Why we are not concerned? It's because that Congress of the people is intact. These are Dutch factionalists. These are just the bogus team that came here and make its own parallel structures, starting from Bloemfontein. In the CEC meeting that stood up on Thursday, Comrade Likota was invited. He did not even come. In the CNC, they were invited. They did not even come. Instead, he took people to Bloemfontein and addressed them in a parallel structure. He called all the disbanded people from the Congress of the People. Remember, the CEC took a decision in 2020 to say that all structures of the Congress of the People should be disbanded. They were disbanded, all of them, but Utera Likota take them to Bloemfontein because it's his factionalist. He's, he's a very, very divided Comrade Utera Likota. So what good will it do then, what you've done now? Do you think he's clinging on to power? He's clinging on to power. He's clinging to power. He must stay at home. So it's coming here fate. violently, no what good fate. will it do? So coming here staging this violence, what good will it do for the party, you think? To be honest with you, we are not violent. We were just here to address them, to say that please respect the Congress of the people. Go back, sit at home, adhere to the code of conduct because we are suspended. When you are suspended via the constitution of the Congress of the people, you have no right to speak on the name of the Congress of the people. But you, can, you, uh, can you tell us what exactly happened? Because from what it looked like, it looked like there was a fight happening. 
When you came in here, what exactly happened? Someone was pushing us? someone. When we came here, we, we, we speak to the management of the team to say that please call them so that they can address us, then we can be arranged to come inside. But by so doing, they have instructed the management not to allow us to come inside here. If it is a real Congress of the people, why are they saying that we must stand outside, not come inside and listen to them? Why they can't respond to that one? This old man is tired. So now we are not going to allow this factionalism that is created by Comrade Kota. Comrade Toga started this from Comrade Mbazima Shilowa. He don't even want to have someone that can have challenges against him. But aren't you concerned what this will do to the voters? Your support? No, well, there you have it. Quite we dramatic scenes we've seen come out here in Boxberg as we were doing that live briefing by um, Suwali Kota, the leader of COP. Two gentlemen came running, uh, seemingly holding each other physically on a physical fight, which actually abruptly stopped uh, the briefing from uh, taking place. We'll have, we'll have to get inside then and actually get to hear what Mr. Tera Likota, that is now the leader of COP, has to say about these developments. He seemingly is outside, but we would like to understand what's going on here. But this is where it all started. Uh, we were seated here and uh, listening to uh, Mr. Musuali Kota as he was briefing the media here. But this chaos erupted, which gave quite a, a, a huge fright to many of us here in as far as the media representation is concerned. And of course, we continue to see drama erupting here in Boxback as, of course, the COPE was holding its press briefing. These are two gentlemen who came here quite violently saying that they want to see change happening in the Congress of the Republic. He is, we are trying to get a hold of uh, Mr. Tera Likota to respond, but seemingly he's quite shaken and shattered with what we've just seen happening here at Boxburg. We are told that uh, we will get to speak to him a little later on. Is that what's going to happen, sir? Yeah, we are going to continue with the, with the media briefing. So if you, the media personnel can just get inside, we will be able to address you. All the questions will be addressed inside. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it. This is the Acting Secretary General, General Secretary of COPE, uh, Mr. Eric Mushapa Masui, saying that certainly he will uh, address us a little later uh, with regards to what we've seen erupt here. Chaos, of course, uh, erupting here in Boxburg. Quite unfortunate turns, turn off events. Let's take a listen to this negotiation happening here. You are destroying Congress of the people. It's what I'm saying. Who come to Mufuge? It's him. The cause of the problem. He, he, he installed himself at Eku Ruling Council while he was coming from Johannesburg as an MMC. Now he came back here and said that he stays at Boxburg. Now he wants to install himself in the council of Eku Ruling. We are saying we are not going to allow that to happen. For that matter, for your information, he is not even in the list of Eku Ruling. That's why we are saying that he must be, he, he must be fired, he must be expelled. Comrade Emufuken, Comrade Tera Likota must be expelled from the Congress of the People. They put the party to dispute. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Well, the chaos continues to erupt here. A lot of uncertainty as to basically what's going to happen. But we are being asked as the media to actually get inside this plenary where the press briefing was taking place. It's where we'll get uh, a sense of what really is happening here. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll resume with the press briefing. Well, they're bringing us that story and I'm sure he will continue to look at developments. Uh, the president of the Congress of the People, Tera Lekota, not, uh, Musiwa Lekota, not able uh, to give any responses as is uh, at the moment, but they are, they are visuals. He's preparing himself to continue uh, with the media briefing as planned. Of course, there'll be a different forecast for now. Let's listen in. We're taking you back to that uh, chaotic uh, media briefing by the Congress of the People. Let's listen in once again. I don't want this boy to come here well, there you have it. Well, there you have it. Chaos. Over chaos. Chaos upon chaos coming out of this press briefing here in Boxburg. This as COVID continues to actually 
try and get a sense of what's happening. Quite chaotic. We've, we are seeing police now. Of course, in the, in present, this is what is happening here right now. No, no. This guy must go. Who the police when? No, Well, certainly, chaos continuing to erupt here as uh, the briefing takes place. Uh, Cope president having been uh, quite shattered in as far as this is concerned. Let's take a listen. No, he must be arrested. What's the problem? He's not supposed to be here. What is the well, now there's quite uh, a few policemen and women we've seen arrive here trying to sort of quell uh, these uh, uh, chaotic scenes that we are seeing coming out of uh, Boxback as of course the press briefing was about to restart uh, from scratch after having seen yet another violence uh, as uh, some of the members of COPE coming here to make uh, uh, their way forcefully. We see that this gentleman in front of us now is starting to bleed from his month. Tell us, Mr. We, we are not going to be led by thieves. And if they are real leaders, they must allow the process to unfold. Ntateli Kota is suspended. He must go under hearing processes until this matter is resolved. What they are doing there is planning criminal, criminal activities. We cannot allow it. We are, the, we are the, the, the defenders of the Constitution. So how can they be leaders who can observe the Constitution? It will not happen. We did not attack them. We came here right. They attacked us. Now they were doing. They even called the police. How can you call the police to your own side if you are a true leader? They are failing us. They are no longer COPE. If you are interviewing them, you are interviewing them in their own space, not in the name of COPE. But the issue here, China, you came with violence. That's a problem here. No, not at all, my brother. We were walking in. We were with the security, the guy with, with that bike. We were walking in. But they, they had to attack us from the door. You were inside. Sorry, which structures are you guys in? I am the, the leader of the youth movement. Which youth movement? Who voted for you? Uh, where? You when? voted for me. Where? In Kempton Park. In Kempton Park? Yes. Who the are Congress you? took place in, in Bromfontein. Where were you? When? In, 20, in, 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 in 2019. You are talking of Kempton Park. You see now, you, you, you don't even know when, when, when the Congress uh, took place. Go and your t-shirt, man. Get out of here. Heaven. Go and I hey, Mona, you must be, you as a young leader, you must be uniting leaders, uniting we members, uniting instead of fighting home. people here. I'm not fighting. You, you can't even respect your elders, and yet you want to be, you, you, you come here and act as a leader. No, man, you must, uh, you, you, must, you must yeah, respect other people. Will not go, will not go to you. We will see. So the press will see. The press will see. Will, 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 will not continue. On what basis and how? On the basis that, that who, who are they representing? If there are, there are, if we can follow me now to the gate, there are members of Congress of the People at the gate. They lock them outside. They said they must not come in. Why? But what are members of the Congress of People doing in a media briefing? They want to see what are they going to say. They want to see if there is true leaders. Why they don't allow them to go in? So members of the Congress of the People are allowed to attend a media briefing? In support of their leaders, if they are true leaders, they must. Why not? It's the first of its kind. No, but why not? Sir, can I get your well, huh? there you have it. Uh, confusion after confusion will continue to experience here as uh, this uh, press briefing has abruptly came to a halt as uh, these young gentlemen, one of them behind me saying that he's the leader of the youth, saying that it won't continue uh, in as far as they are concerned. Musuwa Likota is actually suspended from the party and the rest of the leadership that we saw earlier on addressing us as the media here in Boxback. Of course, he's telling us that there are quite a number of members of COPE that are outside of the gate here at the Petrood Hotel, which is where the press briefing is currently taking place. They are saying that they are being hindered from entering these premises. The question comes now as to basically when did we ever see members of a party attending a media briefing? It's other than that because on the basis of the fact that he's a youth leader, 
they are allowed to come and attend the media briefing. And of course, we've seen quite a dramatic scenes coming out of that media briefing as we continue to listen to Mr. Legoda talking to us as the media following that suspension of his uh, early this week by his deputy president, uh, that is now Willy Madisha. Alongside in that press briefing was the national spokesperson of COPE, uh, Dennis Blom, saying that he's been suspending for having convened, among other things, a meeting in Bloemfontein that was not constitutionally uh, being, uh, you know, co-rating uh, and organized, uh, saying that they've since decided that he will be suspended from a meeting that they said took place on Sunday last week, which is now the Cong Nas Congress National Committee, which comprises of 37 members we've since learned. Now, Suwale Kota was actually telling us that as far as he is concerned, he is still uh, the leader of a cope because of the fact that he was, he was absent during due to ill health doesn't make him any less of a president of the congress of the people and of course uh, it would seem a drama continues to unfold here as we see that there is quite a number of uh, police men and women actually coming out after they were called by the leaders of the Congress of the People, we are told to actually try and calm uh, the situation, which we've seen quite going uh, rather very violent. We've seen uh, uh, people handling, men handling each other uh, with regards uh, to what we've seen uh, come out of that inside the room. We wait and see then what's going to happen because this gentleman in yellow, uh, he says he's the youth leader saying that they are going to make sure that the press briefing does not take place. How is going to do that we wait and see.